posting on social media as if you literally have a partnership with them. So the second part is so vital because this is where everything starts to really unfold. And this is your outreach to the brand. So a couple things here. I actually like to do outreach in DMs. Hear me out here. So if you are working on your brand and you are really just like showing up good content, it's engaging, it's compelling, it's aesthetic, your highlights are set up, everything is optimized, which that being said, I can do a video on optimizing your page and just making it look like you are the shit, you are the authority at what you do. I can do a video on that, but I think your brand page is almost like your, your personal brand is like currency. It's like your website, it's like your LinkedIn. It is just like the highlight reel of what your brand offers and and I think that it can really set the tone obviously with the the vision and the visual aspect to it it can really just like open up the conversation where they can see that social proof right away plus when you in when you dm companies um, big or small they usually have a marketing team that is specifically on the instagram like ready to answer messages like that so time and time again i used to do this all the time where i would cold email companies now i'm not saying that didn't always work what i am saying is that my response rate and my relationship to close the deal came more from instagram in my personal experience for example let's take one of my favorite brands alo yoga so alo yoga is an amazing brand they're super awesome with everything they're putting out with their content and the influencers they work with but if you go to alo yoga on the website at the bottom by the way that's where you can find contact us and usually websites especially big brands they'll have organized emails where you can go to like um, PR or you can go brand partnerships you can go to different sections and get a particular email and those emails will look something like this they say like PR at the brand.com press at the brand.com so it's more of a general email to that whole department versus when I go to Instagram and I DM a company with a compelling pitch and then they respond awesome let's let's get in touch shoot us an email at chelsea at aloyoga.com i'm not saying that's actually it i just first name that came to mind or kelsey at aloyoga.com all of a sudden ding 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 i don't just get the marketing department or the person who's in charge of um, influencer recruitment or brand partnerships or whatever it is i get chelsea the girl who is literally the one who's probably making the decision flagging through the influencers and being the one who's in charge of the decisions who actually is the inbox I want to be in because what happens when you go to a brand even if so if you go to a website and the brand doesn't even have it organized like that and you're kind of emailing a general email they will move that email to a department so you may have ever gotten an email where it's like we're moving this over to our PR department because that's we're flagging it over to them it kind of takes longer also I feel like emails just get lost in the sauce I've done so many PR emails with just in my PR agency in LA um, that like when I was really trying to build my group here and my connections, I would do so many cold emails and outreach like that, that now it's been, my business has been growing because I am, I just have really built up my name and with the connections that I have. But in the beginning it was so much cold emailing and I found a lot more success and going straight to the brand. And then with that first part of all of this, when you guys are actually showcasing what you love about the brand, you're sharing it out a little bit, they will see that. Plus they might click on your page if it is a marketing head who's on the Instagram page because on that Instagram page, they have someone who's the social media manager of the brand. So someone who is actually the one who would be the person you'd want to talk to. They're the one who is looking through the DMs and who's going to respond. So now you're probably wondering, Aisha, well, what the heck do I say? And that's actually the easiest part because with the DMs, you kind of want to be really straightforward and direct with that message because if they have an interest in working with you or if they you said the right things or you're a vibe fit for their brand they will let you know so you don't really have to go all about into the hard pitch or what the deliverables are of like what you want from the brand you can just be so straight up and also with instagram dms you do have a character limit so you do want to keep the message like one to two paragraphs i'll show some examples on the screen of like what i've done because these have worked time and time again 
I simply just sent a simple introductory um, little blurb that's like, hey, and I shoot the, uh, the brand name. I absolutely love your page. Just curious, are you guys interested in working with influencers to drive more brand awareness and exposure to this amazing brand? I see something along the lines of that. I'll have it on the screen. Um, just because I've done it so much, I like have it in my head. And they usually bite or they don't bite. And I don't take it, I take it like a grain of salt. But the beauty part is, is that I find the response rate are way higher through the DMs. And my response rates are even higher than that if I'm actually showcasing the brand that I love it. Heck, when you grow your brand the right way and you are sharing brands that you love, oftentimes what happens is that they will reach out to you and say, oh, we love that you love our brand. Thank you so much for sharing. We would love to send you a PR package or we would love to talk partnerships. They might even do that inbound ask to you if you are sharing. So that first tip is so vital. But the second tip, don't even hold back on your outreach because I swear to God, like if you can like keep doing more outreach with brands that you love, you would be surprised with them being interested. And by your page being compelling, by you actually showing up with authority and really working so hard on the brand, they will be like, damn, this girl or this guy might be an amazing fit and we would love to talk par partnerships. So once they answer that kind of first message, then I see what they say and then I kind of pursue the conversation and say, amazing, I would love to send you my media kit um, if you're interested. Sometimes I do say that in the first message, but sometimes I'll wait for them to respond so I just know if they're interested because sometimes you'll just get a hard no and they'll be like, oh, we actually have our influencer roster that's full or we have enough affiliates right now at this time, but thank you for reaching out. That's amazing. You already got noticed, you got acknowledged. So now when you DM again in the future, cause you want to keep reaching out, especially if it's a brand that's on your dream list to partner with, they will see that you've been loyal. You've already set the tone and you actually show up in their DMs. So say this brand explodes even more and they get flooded DMs, you will show up versus going to the request because you've been in, they've answered, you're almost like a warm DM message. So. Once they take it there, my goal, my sole goal is to take it to email. So if they are interested, I would say something like, I would love to talk further and send you over ideas I have for a possible partnership to really drive brand exposure and awareness to your amazing brand. Um, something simple, something to the point and really sparking their interest with ears of like what they would love. And now we'll get into the third part of after we move the combo off of IG, let's take it to e email with the proposal and the pitch. So I have, for example, I pulled out my aloe yoga one and I have the exact like person's email at aloe yoga. So it just shows you like, that's the plug. And what I basically do is do a little nice intro. Hi, write their name. It's such a pleasure to move the conversation over on here. Uh, or you just say it's such a pleasure to connect from Instagram if it's the same person or you give the referral name if um, they did connect you to someone else. Um, Cause sometimes I'll say like, oh, who am I speaking to on the DMs? And then I talk about a little bit of a brief overview about myself, my brand. Um, really excited for the opportunity to discuss further about possible brand partnership opportunities to achieve X goal of the brand. And then I would insert different ideas you have. So for example, you could say like, I would love to discuss the opportunity of certain partnerships where I can draw extreme brand awareness and sales to the amazing brand through my X channels. Uh, and then you can write in the form of podcast commercials, um, Instagram stories, I don't know, a swipe series, whatever is your style of content. Like if you are someone who's a fitness influencer and you do a lot of IGTVs or live workouts that get crazy numbers, send them those ideas. I, like I said before, like even if they have their outline of how they work with influencers, they will appreciate the thought that you actually cared a lot about what would benefit their brand. And it shows that you genuinely do give a shit and you, you are a fan because you know what's going on, you know what would help serve their brand. And it, I'm telling you, it just makes you, it separates you from the rest. And then I always say like a media kit is attached for your review to kind of review further insights and analytics about my brand because at the end of the day, 
brands care about the, the numbers. They care about the insights, the analytics. You can have an amazing large following or the most aesthetic Instagram, but if you don't have a following that converts or can show them the numbers that they wanna see, those KPIs, key performance indicators, then they don't wanna put their money on a brand like that. They wanna put their money where it will convert. So if you can do a post for them and they pay you $1,000, but then they generate $2,000 in sales, they're gonna work with you time and time again. So having that media kit is something that is so important and I can kind of outline with you guys the best practices for that and to create one that does get the eyes and does get that like, oh, you know what, she's, the one that we need to work with. So. I know that these three parts of it are a lot, but they're all so important to the, the whole puzzle piece of this. And I'm just very excited for you guys to act on some of these things. Let me know how it's going. I'm here for you in your journeys of building your brand, monetizing your brand, just because with everything I've been doing in my branding and PR agency in LA, I just see the abundant opportunity and what I've created for clients that my agency and I work with. And it's just been insane. And my whole thing is that anyone can do it. Like anyone could have a, a huge brand online and being a genuine, authentic human and really spreading your value and your and your amazing brand from this awesome place within and a, and a place that you wanna serve and provide value, that is what is so needed more than ever right now in the world. So I just wanna encourage you all through these videos to take a chance on yourself, build the brand, build that business, you, even if you have a business and you don't have a personal brand, I really wanna entertain that thought of building your personal brand to drive traction to your business because people buy people at the end of the day and you'd be surprised how much can come out of it on the other side if you actually are intentional with your brand and you can see how you can really generate uh, abundant income through your personal brand. And this is why I'm so passionate about it. So please let me know what kind of videos you would like to see more of, how your content creation journeys are going, where I can serve and provide value because that's why I'm doing this and that's why I'm here and I'm here for your success. So please consider subscribing if you liked the video. Um, hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified when I post another video and let me know below what you wanna see more of. And I'm here for it. So connect with me on IG always there, sending you guys so much love, and I'll see you in the next one.